What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a Shell Smash Blastoids rain team for Regulation Age. So obviously on the screen, you guys can see three rain Pokemon. We got Kingdra, we got Politoed, and we got Blastoids. Now let's talk about Blastoids first and foremost, as it has Rain Dish and a White Herb as item to pair up with that Shell Smash move. Shell Smash will actually lower our both defenses, but it will also boost our attack, special attack, and speed plus two stages. With the White Herb, we can actually neutralize the defense drops and give this thing all the attack and speed boost. Absolutely amazing, setting up Blastoids is pretty easy considering we have Electabuzz on this team, so once we get that rolling, Blastoids is going to be an absolute menace. Blastoids is rocking the Water Terror type with Wave Crash, Protect, and Ice Spinner. Obviously, this is a physical attacking build. We got Politoed, we got Kingdra on today's team, two of the best ranged Pokemon of all time, with Drizzle and Damp Rock as its item, Encore, Muddy Water, Helping Hand, and Kingdra's Rock and Swift Swim, with Choice Specs, Draco Meteor, Hurricane, Hydra Pump, and Protect. Our final three Pokemon are going to be Electabuzz, Incineroar, Golden Go. Electabuzz is going to be a great support Pokemon with Follow Me to help Blastoise set up. Golden Go is going to be a great special attacker. And Incineroar, it's Incineroar. It's doing Incineroar things. I'm done explaining what Incineroar does. It's going to be all over the meta for Regulation H. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Blastoids team. Before we hop into our first match, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Brad. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. On top of that, thank you so much for being a longtime viewer. I see your comments. I know you've been around here on the channel watching for a good bit. So huge shout out to you. And thanks again for watching the channel. But going up against a Garchomp team here in match number one with Komo, -O, with Gyarados for Intimidates. On top of that, they are rocking out with uh, Archaludon. Pelipper, and last but not least, they have Frigriff. So, leading Gyarados could be really tough for us. Do I think they're going to lead it? Maybe there's a possibility. Because that would just take my White Herb away if I lead Blastoids. But I'm going to say we're going to lead Blastoids. Yeah, I'm all about leading Blastoids. Trying to get the Shell Smash up. We'll go Electabuzz. We'll go Blastoids. And in the back end, we could just go like Kingdra and Politoed, which actually I really like. Let me check out Politoed's moves one more time. Yeah, we got Weather Ball. We got Helping Hand. We do have Encore. Encore can work wonders. Tell him with that. And then Kingdra with the choice specs. Got a lot of different moves you can really go into. Try and do some big time damage. So let's see who they end up leading here. I feel like the only Pokemon we're going to really struggle up against could be the Archaludon. We'll see. I mean, Electabuzz can do big time damage to Gyarados, considering it's four times super effective. But I don't know if they lead Gyarados. We're really hoping they don't. Because then my White Herb is gone. Turn one. And we really, we really don't want to lose White Herb turn one, right? Let's see. Let's go. Okay, so Pelper, they set the rain. They're going to bring out Garchomp here as well. So Garchomp and Paloop. So they're free to EQ, which is a bit scarier than I want it to be. I mean, I honestly, I could just go into like Ice Spinner here. And maybe just Terrasilize Ghost and I could Thunderbolt here as well. Because that'll be four times super effective both sides. I think I'm cool with this. I really do. I mean, we should be able to eat up an EQ, but being four times super effective onto both these Pokemon, especially if they don't Thrasilize, gives me a good reason not to go in the Shell Smash here. We should just attack. Thunderbolt, Ice Spinner, I love this. We're Terrasilizing our Electabuzz because, again, EQ, there's a possibility that comes out here. And if I can so soak up an EQ and get off both these moves without them Terrasilizing, this could be a good turn for us. This could be a really good turn for us. So we'll end up Terrasilizing Electabuzz. Wide guard comes out here. That's totally fine by me. What do you think I'm going for? Surf? Is that what you think I'm doing? Or you're just going for EQ? But Thunderbolt gonna rip up damage here. Bring Pelper down to Focus Ash. That's massive. Blastoids, I doubt you outspeed Garchomp. Really hope you do. But we get a Paralyze on the Pelper. That's massive. Paralyze on the Pelper. We're not outspeeding. He wide guard to block his EQ. And with this terror, yeah, we should be able to soak pretty well here, right? I mean, Blastoise might take half. Yeah, I like the bus soaks pretty well. But Ice Spinner coming through. Four times super effective. And oh! How dare you pick up a KO? How dare you pick up a KO? How dare you pick up a KO? The thing is, Electabuzz actually outspeeds. I really want to go for E Web for the double KO, but it won't. Um, what is my play here? I could just protect Blastoise. I could go for Shell Smash this turn. Because we know he's not going to KO me. I think Shell Smash is actually going to be our turn. I'm going to Shell Smash here. 
I am gonna go for the E-Web just in case he swaps the Garchomp. That could be big time for us. Let's see what he ends up doing. Maybe we should just run for the Thunderbolt so he doesn't go for the Wide Guard. But I feel like he's just he's not gonna go for the Wide Guard again. There's really no point for that. There's really no point for a Wide Guard here. So I'm gonna go for a Shell Smash, hope in hopes I can soak up this uh this EQ and then be able to outspeed next turn, get rid of the Pelipper like that. It would have been so nice. If this thing wasn't Im immune to uh to electric, and he's just gonna go for a scale shot. So this works actually ten times better for us. So I get off this shell smash, I will get rain dish. I can protect next turn as well. My white herb will help out. And I have Electabuzz chilling here with follow me. A great turn. Do you soak this? And you live. And you live. Five scale shots. Massive. Huge. Great turns for us. Shell smash coming at you. With the white herb, we're now seeing plus two on both attack stats and plus two on speed. Oh baby. Oh baby. Ready to rock it. Ready to get after it. I can't believe this Garchomp lived on one HP though. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. <laughs> I hit you with its what's it called? I hit you with an ice spinner and you survive that. So Rain Dish gives us nine HP back. I could protect get another nine HP back. Um, I could just go for follow me. Or I could just attack whatever the next Pokemon is. Let's see who he goes into. We'll make a call as time as time goes on. Let's see, because if it's Arch Luna, I really just want to like wave crash it. Even though it would do like mediocre damage. But it's gonna be Komo, -Oh, and do I still just wave crash it? Nah, we're gonna ice spin this bad boy down. So ice spinner gonna fly across the board. Um And I think we just go for follow me. I think we just go follow me. Garchomp's gonna protect. That's so big. We're not attacking you, Garchomp. I'm not worried about you. I'm really not worried about you. Follow me comes out here. Ice Spinner's gonna KO. Super effective. Plus two on attack. Come on, man. Oh, actually, this thing is beefy. This thing is real beefy. He's gonna go for climbing, climbing scales. Gets a crit on my like the buzz, but still, Blastoise outspeeding. I could pick up some KOs here. Wow, that actually only did half. I thought that was gonna KO. Komo -o, bulk it out. Bulk it out here. Rain Dish gonna help us out. Get back a little bit more HP. And I'm just gonna go into King Joe with Swiss Swim. I mean, obviously it's our best option. It is by far our best option. Hmm. And how many turns are left in Rain? That's the real question. We got choice into a move that we want to choice into. I have someone to kill you. Do I think you're gonna terrestrialize? There is a chance that you terrestrialize into like steel. Steel is like the typing that they like to go into. So honestly, we're just gonna rip a hide. I don't know if Hydro Pump's gonna KO. I'm gonna Draco Meteor this thing down. That's gonna be my play. And they just cancel match. I was gonna say, I'm gonna Draco Meteor, then maybe swap King Jerk because Rain was ready to end. But hey, 1 0 to get this video started with Blastoise. Moving on to our second match, and the first match went pretty perfectly. We got after it with Blastoids and Lectabuzz, eventually set up the Shell Smash, and won the match. But we're going up against a T-Tar Exodus team, which means we definitely need Politoed because it's going to be a Weather War. They also have Hisuian Arcanine, they got Ursaluna, they got Milotic, and last but not least, they have a Moogus. Moogus is a great little Pokemon here, but for our lead, I really want to go into... Maybe Golden Go here. I don't know. Would Golden Go be good? I mean, I think they're going to leave Arcanine, which is a little bit of a problem for us. I could honestly just go Blastoids and like the Buzz. And if they intimidate, they intimidate. Then we could just maybe go for a Wave Crash and look to do some nice damage. But I think going into maybe like Seam Squad. Actually, Incineroar could be really good here. Let's go Incineroar here. Let's go Incineroar for the lead alongside with Kingdra. And if we want to just swap Incineroar into Polytoe, we can. And then just bring like Golden Go in the back end. Yes, no Blastoids, no Electabuzz here. Definitely works out a little bit better for us. So, I like it. I like it. We're going to show the other rain squad. We're going to go in with Kingdra here. I mean, we had Kingdra in the last game, but they ended up just canceling it because uh, Blastoids, you know, did Blastoids things, set up the Shell Smash, did big time damage with Ice Spinner, and then we were about to just start wiping out with Wave Crash left and right. So, good game in the first one, but my boy Blastoids coming out on top. But if they go Titar Extra here, which I'm kind of hoping... They don't, though, but we're going to get an Intimidate, and then I'm just going to hard swap my, uh... I'm just going to end up hard swapping my Incineroar here. Actually, I can fake out this turn, first and foremost. But you get competitive boost, which really sucks. 
That really sucks. This thing's ready to go. This Milotic is ready to go. I mean, we should be able to outspeed it, which is pretty good, so... Maybe let's just go into, like, a parting shot. There is a chance you hard swap. Which is why I think parting shot could be good for us. And you know what? I'm going to parting shot. I'm just going to go for Draco Meteor into the Smilotic slot. I'm going to do that. He probably thinks I'm faking out. I'm just attacking. I'm going right for We're both of them. Parting shot. Competitive plus two, though. Special attack boost is going crazy right now. I'm going to see a terror type pop out here. This is going to be Milo? Who you got here? Gonna be Arcanine Grass, maybe? Normal, so I guess he's just looking for E-Speeds. He's already minus one, which is good news for us. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that tower. Jerker Meteor launches. How much damage are we doing? Good chunk. Half's beautiful. Half is beautiful. Half is huge, but of course you're rocking a Citrus Berry. And I believe Incineroar should outspeed Milo. Which could be good for us. And he ends up going for a Head Smash, which we dodge. It's big time dodge. Ice Beam gonna launch, plus two, Kingdra, soaks decently well. A little bit of half action, can't go wrong with that. And do I go into Politoed or do I go into like Gold to go here? What is the call? What is the call? I think we gotta go into Gold and go. Try to rip this thing down with Thunderbolt, because we gotta get rid of Milo. Milo is the big threat right now. Milo is such a huge threat. It's Rasslize and Steel, but I really don't feel like it. I think is minus two, and I think just hard swapping into Polytoad here just to get Kingdra's stats back might be best for us. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Polytoad. I'm gonna launch a Thunderbolt into this Milotic slide. I'm really hoping I can KO here. I'm not sure if I can, to be honest with you guys. I'm not too sure, but I'm really hoping. Ends up with on the Arcanine. Now, did you predict this swap? Don't go into T-Tar here. Do not go into T-Tar here. Okay, Ursula Luna comes out here. Thunderbolt KO. Mmm. Ouch. Does not KO. And Scald's gonna fly here and pick up the KO. Yep, Rain Boost definitely helps him. Okay, so now we're sitting here in this position. Well, I don't know how to feel about it. I mean, I gotta go into Kingdra here. And I mean, if they swap into T-Tar here to change up weather, the damage is still big for us. With like a Hydra Pump and a Muddy Water. Even though I should probably go into like Hurricane in the slot. And then throw Muddy Water across the board. Actually, what would do more? If you think Muddy Water can KO the Milo, I think it can. In the rain? You know what? I'm going to say it does. I'm going to say it does. And I'm going to launch a Hydra Pump and I'm just going to go Muddy Water. I think KO the Milo. He withdraws Ursula. You're definitely going into T-Tar, right? This has got to be T-Tar. Yep, there's T-Tar. I mean, T-Tar should be dead here. Even without the rain. I don't know if Milo is dead. That's uh, that's our big issue here. That's our big issue. I just pumped this big time damage. Muddy water. Mm, you outspeed us anyway. And King just dead. So this was just a good lead for them going into Milo here. Really did us dirty. Now we have Pokemon in the back and that really can't do too much. Muddy water is going to come across. It does not pick up the KO onto Milo. It does pick it up onto T-Tar. We don't have rain for the rest of the match. Can Fake Out pick up a KO? That's a good question, though. I mean, Buffets are out and about. That's good. So Fake Out will definitely pick up the KO. Um. Hmm. I think I have to Fake It Out. I think I have to. They're probably going to go right back into, uh... Into Arcanine. I don't really think there's a shot at us winning this match, especially without the rain. Unless I can get, like, a good Encore going. That could be good for us. Let's see. They go on Arcanine? Yeah. Arcanine comes out here. It is normal typing now. We do intimidate him. He intimidates us. Um, we have to fake out Milo. We have to. We have to fake out Milo. So I'm going to fake out Milo. Um, Weather Bowl's not bad. It changes, it's gonna be rock, but I mean, Muddy Water has a chance to lower in accuracy, so I'm just gonna launch a Muddy Water. Fake out gonna KO the Milo. And I should have Terrasalized, why didn't I think of that? He's gonna head smash. Can we dodge another head smash? Can we? 
We we do. Oh, dude, that's so good news. Because we don't waste terror this turn, too. Muddy water. We, we miss muddy water. So, okay. You, you, you get some, you, you give some. All right. So that's fair now. It's fair. We definitely got Thrasilites now. I totally forgot to. Buffets are flying around. They are all around. So, obviously, Blood Moon, Ursaloon are going to come out here. Not good news for us whatsoever. And I'm going to be forced to Thrasilites into water here. So, I'm going to Thrasilites. I am going to... Head Smash is going to take a lot of damage. I am going to go for a knockoff here to take off your item. And I am just going to go for a Muddy Water. Alright, let's do it. Incineroar and Polito looking to win this one. It's not looking good for us, but maybe they're going to a move which we can Encore them into. That could be really good news for us. So we go into the Water Terror. The Smilotic was a pain in this match, let's be honest here. And Head Smash flies and it finally lands. These minus one, it still does an insane amount of damage. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. We do have Citrus Berry, which is good news. We go back up to 98 HP. And Muddy Water does double connect. Can we get some Accuracy Drops? Any Accuracy Drops maybe onto Ursaluna? No, we don't. Blood Moon flies. And Blood Moon gets a crit. Oh, man. I think we were dying after that anyway. Blood Moon just hits so hard. It really does. Knock off flies. He's going to take off item. Take off his vest. And that, that is why he soaked up a lot. But I'm actually curious. If he Blood Moons and I Encore Blood Moon because you can't use it twice in a row, will that not work the second time? I'm curious. I definitely am curious. But that's going to be game here. I'm going to... Actually, maybe we can dodge a head smash if he wants to go into it again and KO with this Flare Blitz. Let's give it a try. Wait, he missed the head. Yo, head smash not landing. Can Flare Blitz KO? No, and you actually outspeed my instant or wait, we soak, but we're dead to recall or or what's it called anyway? Buffets. Maybe we can KO the Ursuline Bear. I'm kind of curious to see if it would have. Nah, this thing's bulking it out. He's bulking it out. We're sitting one and one. Let's go hop to our third and final match. Look for that winning record. Third and final match is here, and this one looks like it's going to be tough. Electivire, Wind Rotom, Alolan Raichu with uh, Surge Surfer to pair up with that we ride on, and then they got Gouging Fire and Dragapult. So. How am I playing this? I mean, I could go Electabuzz Blastoise, but the only problem is there is just like the sheer force of Electric Pokemon. I mean, I could go Gold to go and maybe try to set up a Nasty Plot. That actually sounds a little bit better in my favor. So I'm going to go Electabuzz. I am going to go Gold to go. And then I think we go Polito Blastoise or do we go Polito Kingdra? Polito Kingdra is pretty good. Hmm. We do have Ice Spinner. You know, we're going to go Blastoids here. This video is all about Blastoids. Plus, we want the weather. So, I'm going to go into that. We're going to look to set up our Golden Go here. Try to get Nasty Pot going. And then just start dropping Make It Rains. And look to have Blastoids coming in the back. And in the rain, with Wave Crash, Rippin doing some big time damage. I know they have a lot of Electric Pokemon. But with Electabuzz, that could be pretty good. That could be pretty good. Let's just see who they end up leading. It's probably me right on Raichu, right? I don't mind me right on Raichu. I mean, again, I can go for Follow Me. They just do them dirty. So they're gonna go me ride on an Electivire. Okay. Me ride on Electivire. Comes out here. And do we just have to go for a Make It Rain here? I mean, honestly, Make It Rain. Not that good here. Gotta go for a nice plot. We gotta go for the plot here. I gotta go follow me. It's a must play. Hopefully, it protects somebody. You're right on just a, just a bully, man. This Pokemon's so good. It's so good. I kind of wish we had, like, a real here. Would have been awesome. But Electabuzz goes for following me. Hopefully someone's attacking with electric moves, right? He's going to Volt Switch. That's perfect. That is really good for us. That he's Volt Switch pivoting out here. So he's going to be able to Volt Switch pivot. Electivire, what are you going for? That's the real question. So he pivots out with Electivire. Um, Electabuzz doing some work. And he's going to go into the Rotom. Okay, I can deal with that. And Rockside's going to launch. Don't you dare flinch my goal to go. Thank you. Nice spot out and about. That's beautiful. Um, you definitely have Motor Drive, so I want to go into, like... I'm going to go into Shadow Ball here. I think we just ripped Follow Me's. You got to be Discharge, right? It's Follow Me even to play. I think I just Thunderbolt this thing. I don't even think follow me supply. 
I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and lie about it, but we're gonna see a terror type pop out here. Probably from Electabuzz. Yeah, Electabuzz gonna get the terror type. He's gonna go into straight electric. Straight electric. I think this has to be like a discharge play. Thunderbolt does launch. We do outspeed. Do I get a paralyze by chance? I don't. He's gonna go for hex. Hex flying here. We're able to soak, which is good news. He's gonna go for supercell slam. No shot, you double down. So I could just follow me this turn. I can't believe that. I thought this was gonna be more of a discharge play. That really sucks. Um. I think I gotta go into Blastoid too, right? Follow me, Cell Smash. I think that's our last hope. I think that's our last hope. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. We're going for the Blastoids win here. Kind of a bad team that we did bring here, but it, it was more of a bad matchup than anything. So I can't, I can't believe they they doubled down into that slot with Follow Me. He's going to go for Volt Switch. I'm going to be able to soak up here. He's probably going for another Supercell Slam, which I'm really hoping we can soak up. And I can just get after it with Blastoids. That's, that's the plan. That be the plan. He goes into Raichu. Rock Slide does fly out here and Electabuzz dodges it. I wish Blastoids would dodge it because I feel like we're going to get flinched. You get a crit too? Alright, but they don't get the flinch. That's big. That is big. So get off the shell smash. Came here to play. And who do I take out? Honestly, Raichu might be faster than us. Raichu could also be sashed. I gotta pick someone here. I gotta take somebody out. Who am I taking out here? Gotta go wave crash into somebody. Do I Terra Water? Just for damage boost? I feel like we, should, we have to. Like the bus is looking pretty scary. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go for follow me again. Let's do it. Let's do it. Last away, it's time. With me riding him. Your just so powerful. That's our big problem. The thing is, if we can outspeed it, I mean, Terra Water Wave Crash in the rain with Polytoad. Helping hand boost as well. That could be good. But I think Raichu might outspeed us. That's, that's my one issue here. I really hope Blastoids can just outspeed and KO here. He is outspeeding us. You should soak this, Electabuzz. All day. All day, I like the buzz. All day. What, are, what is up with these crits right now? Wave crash flying. Can you KO Blastoids? You're plus two on attack. Let's stab. Let's terror boost it. Get it on out of here. That's big time KO. You are going to take some mean recoil, which we don't like. We simply do not like the mean recoil. And from here, I'm hoping they go into me right on. They do. So Blastoid should outspeed me right on. Now what does more damage? Ice Spinner, that's super effective. That would be power 160 or Wave Crash. I think Wave Crash does more damage with the Terra Boost. Actually, no, it's not very effective. We have to go for Ice Spinner. We will take out Terrain too. So this is what I'm hoping here. We go for Follow Me, we go for Ice Spinner. We're going to hope that we can KO the me right on, but I honestly don't think we can. And then, uh... And then Electabuzz dies out to this Raichu, and then we bring out Politoed and outspeed this this Raichu because the train will be gone. But I don't I don't know how this is gonna work out. You got a luring voice and a KOS. Another crit. You gotta chill with these crits. Watch your scope lens. But I need wave crash KO. It's the most important thing. I don't think it will though. Let's see. Oh man, that really hurts. That would have had a hot shot at winning us the game. That would have had a hot shot at winning us the game. The hottest of shots at winning us the game. Oh, man. That really sucks because our Blastoids could have just thrived out there with that KO. But now we got to go into Politoed. And that's pretty much GG, right? That's pretty much GG. Because who, who was our final Pokemon? Do we even know? I don't even know who it was. It would have been Galgic Fire or Dragapult, and they have no first turn priority, so my Blast would outspeed and beam plus two on speed. Yeah, we would have won this match because Wave Crash would have went nuclear, and Muddy Water would have helped us out so well. 
But we're going to stay in here, see if Polythor can clutch up. But yeah, Electro Drift going to take us out. We're going to end up grabbing ourselves a losing record. It's whatever, casual ladder. I feel like this team still was absolutely amazing. We lost to Miraidon. So that's a plus. I mean, we actually almost beat it. If, if Ice Spinner KOs there, I think we win. But again, GG to our opponent. We love this team so much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Blastoids in Regulation Age. Absolutely love this Pokemon. I feel like the last team really just countered us perfectly. A ton of electric Pokemon, and we didn't really have any way of kind of dealing with them. But still, this team all around was great, especially setting up Shell Smash with Blastoids. And doing big time damage all around with Polytoad, Kingdra, Golden Go, Incineroar, and Electabuzz. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.